color cheerleading to me is actually a, f a whole nother family. Um, coming into school as a freshman, it was um, so nice to have this new family of people who were there to love me, help me change to um, this new setting of college, um, and just a great group of people. Being a Butler cheerleader means a lot to me just because I was, I'm was i from Indy and my parents both went here so I grew up coming to Butler games and I always remember like seeing the cheerleaders and I was like oh like that that'd be so fun and so cool to do and it was it's kind of like surreal to be like on the court and in their spot and just imagining like other girls like watching me do the same thing. I'm at every single home game cheering on my my dogs and I've gotten to travel like I never thought I would during my college career been to the Bahamas, Orlando, New York, Chicago, Louisville, just gotten a lot of opportunity that I don't think I would have gotten outside of Butler cheerleading. To be a Butler cheerleader, it means a lot. It means that I get to be a role model for all the fans that are around, and it means that I get to live my dream and be on the court and watch Butler basketball all the time. The funniest thing that I ever did on the court um, during a Fox Sports 1 televised basketball game, I had my spandex on backwards. Um, the Nike sign was on the wrong side of my body and Delaney told me while we were on the court, um, Sydney, your, your spandex are on backwards. So in between um, timeouts, I went and switched my, switched my spandex around. The scariest moments, probably when the basketball players are running directly at me <laughs> because I never know if I have to catch them or catch the little ball boys in front of me. <laughs> My favorite part of the game, um, probably definitely the last four minutes. They're always the most intense, especially for big games and <laughs> big conference games that we always want to win. The Butler-Gonzaga game was probably my favorite moment as a Butler cheerleader so far, that is. Uh, <laughs> you know, Roosevelt Jones dribbling down the court, last second shot, sinks it to win the game on college game day. Doesn't really get better than that. I will miss... Well, all of my friends on the team, but I think I'll miss just being a part of something bigger than myself um, the most when I, uh, when I graduate. I think that even though you're not on the basketball team or the football team, you still feel like you're a part of, of that whole atmosphere and that even though you may not be on the court, you uh, contribute something special. I think I'll miss that. Butler Cheer family is awesome. Love the people. They're great to be around. Being able to impact the crowd is actually one of the best feelings because usually if you're not like at a men's basketball game, the crowd doesn't really want to participate. Like we cheer for women's basketball and like men's football. Most of the time like they don't really participate, but when you get them to and get them riled up and get them excited, it's an amazing feeling. It's kind of sad to know I only have a year left, but I'm willing to be out there and I'm always going to come back and watch Butler basketball. And as always, go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs.